This video tutorial is going to show elementary school teachers how to enter your grades into PowerSchool for quarter three. Um, this is our current report card that went out semester one, and we've made a small adjustment um, for your report card. Instead of having just semester one and two appear, there will be a column for quarter three so that you may give a number grade instead of only an anecdotal comment for this. For this grading period. So the first thing you, need to, thing you need to do is enter into Power Teacher, and Power Teacher can be found on Moodle or um, on your already installed Java application. So once you open up your Java application, let me add my password once more, you're going to see all of your classes on the left. So if you're art, you would see art in all your grade levels here. I'm at, in as a grade two homeroom teacher with my Doe family or Doe class here. By default, please make sure you look, it's by semester one. If I enter grades in semester one, it's not going to show for my quarter three. I need to navigate down to quarter three. And instead of adding individual assignments, which elementary does not do, I navigate right to my final grades tab. And for my student who I'm giving the grades to, I enter all of their work. So if this student was receiving a three for everything, then I don't need to add a comment for them. Although in this practice, I had already added one, so pretend it's not there. If anywhere I have some significant ones and you need to add a comment, this last column overall um, areas of growth or strength is for my comments. So when I double click on here, you can add your comment manually right into this box. This is my comment. And once you close that, it saves and you're already done. One quick tip is when you double click here and you're adding your comment, this is my comment, notice that it's student Mary Doe. Instead of having to close and then open again, you can just go through one by one and it will go to your next um, your next student. So here I'm in pause and I can add this is my comment as well. Um, another great resource to, to reference when you're doing your grades is the elementary school standard based grading tips and guidelines. Um, the video tutorials are linked here as well. So again, the major things to remember is make sure you're in quarter three, final grades, your grades go across, and the comments, and that's all we need to do. So be sure you're safe, and if you have any questions, please let me know.